has no object. So, you could say that, that what we would call partnerships and so on and so forth are just still symbols, dream symbols, that the spirit can use towards opening up your heart or opening up towards your purpose. You know, the Holy Spirit uses relationships to inspire and to bless and to, to open, open up to being used in the plan or being used by the Holy Spirit. Remember, the Holy Spirit's sole function for the body is communication. Mm -hmm. um, when, there, when there's a sense of falling in love in this world, there's a sense of, you know, a swirl of, of, of this feeling of love and joy and happiness, you know, and this feeling of connection, and the Holy Spirit does use what the ego made to take the mind, we could say, that's sleeping into higher and higher states of consciousness towards holy relationship. But holy relationship really, as you go deeper into it and deeper toward it, you start to realize that it's really reflective of our relationship with God. It's really not interpersonal. God is no respecter of persons. All the rules of the world, the ego tells you how to be in relationship. You know, don't say this, and don't do this, and don't hurt their feelings, and you know, put on a good face, and make a good impression, this and this. But when you really join together in purpose, that's kind of symbolic of wanting to go back to, to the one, we'll say, who really knows your greatest good. Like the Holy Spirit always knows, in any circumstance, in any situation, what's most truly helpful. And that is really what we're joining in. You know, we, words are pretty crude communication devices, you know. You might remember the Gloria Estevan song, Let the words get in the way. They're very crude, but the Holy Spirit will use what the ego made. So the Holy Spirit uses the words, but it still comes down to what is the purpose. Like Jesus says that in the Course, in the, in the workbook, He says, it seems like a phone is for reaching somebody who's not in your proximity. Mm -hmm. But he said, that's the purpose of a phone, to reach somebody who's not in our proximity. But then he says, the real question is, what do I want to reach them for? You see how he's leaping it up off the linear time-space, you know, continuum up to what is the purpose. And just think about that, when you're calling somebody on the phone, isn't that a higher order question? You know, do you want to get something from somebody? Do you want to chew somebody out? Do you want to make guilty? Or is it a call of inspiration and blessing? Oh, that's a world of a difference there because it's the motive. The motivation for the call is really what, what it's always about. In other words, the Holy Spirit can use many forms. The Holy Spirit doesn't look like one thing. The Holy Spirit isn't male or female, the Holy Spirit isn't young or old, and doesn't have this form or that form. It's just this presence that can use uh, the symbols of the world. It could be angels, it could be friends, you could call them mighty companions. Yeah, it just takes you higher. It just gives you a really good context for things, so no matter what specific circumstances you're, you seem to be dealing with in your life, you start to go, hmm. Wow, how cool that I can actually take the care and, and attentiveness to go inside and really start to really get in touch with my motives.